How is it going today? Lois. Lois. Kim Wayne. Dwayne. Jasmine. We're Dwayne and Jazz. Today we have for you. <laughs> you forgot my name. No, I didn't. <laughs> I said Dwayne. <laughs> I just was loading, I don't know, they cloned Dwayne, I don't know. Anyway, Phoenix versus Raven, Marvel versus DC, Death of a Cow. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, I know we, we catch it up, we got you. you guys, make sure you guys, you know, like the video. Because they, y'all, hey, you, that battle, y'all messing up, we, we, was, we was out, we went to the gym call, anyway. And COVID. And COVID, we caught COVID. Anyway, if you guys have any reactions before social media, in the link in the show, don't forget to subscribe. And dab on it. This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. Jean Grey, the marvelous phoenix of the X-Men. Mm -hmm. Raven, the Azeroth, the Azeroth. demon witch Azeroth. of the Azeroth. Team Titans. Azeroth. Azeroth. My little, my little crush, my little non-fiction, my little fictional baby. In our quest baby. to contain the beast within, we may <laughs> Woo! Dr. Yes. Light, he said Dr. Light so wrong, bro. I know. Ah, he's whiz and I'm boomstick. Seeing her dad for the first time got me. I was like, what? Yeah, was I'm like, like Satan? Is that Satan? He's like, Trigon? <laughs> Trigon? He's a like damn devil. <laughs> In Greek mythology, the majestic phoenix bursts into flames upon its death, then rises from its own ashes. It's a symbol of nature, rebirth, mm -hmm. the dawning and setting of the sun, the beginning and end of life. A cycle poor Jean Grey was thrown into way too young when her best friend was struck by a car right in front of her. Yeah. Just like a phoenix, the trauma of Annie's death was the start of something new. Or he got her the mutant okay. power of telepathy. In Annie's fleeting moments, Jean bonded with her mind, and they experienced her death together. Mm. By the way, Jean was ten. Enter Professor mm. Charles Xavier who hoped to help Jean through her trauma. And was also a telepath. He taught yep. Jean how to control her ex-Jean, and she used her powers to find other troubled mutant kids around the country. Thus, the first iteration of these marvelous mutant superheroes was born. The X-Men. Cyclops, Iceman, Beast, Angel, and of course, Marvel Girl. We can, we can workshop that name. Jean's potential as a telepath was incredible. How many marvels are there? Right. So Jean. far beyond Xavier's, in fact, that he installed psionic blocks in her mind to limit her full power. Mm. At least until she was mature enough to wield it safely. She can read and control thoughts, communicate telepathically, rewrite and erase OP. memories, manipulate each one of your senses, and project what? her mind into the astral plane. Jean is also an expert telekinetic, capable of forming energy barriers, deconstructing giant machines, so she can do and anything. halting the blood. She's Omega, Omega level, bruh. Mm -hmm. I feel like the guy with big hands who can climb good is a little out of place, but Jean's life would change forever. Again, on one fate mission. Trapped piloting a ship through a solar storm, the Marvel Girl came into contact with an incredible energy. It merged with her, mm -hmm. greatly enhancing her power. But there was a catch. This thing wasn't just a power boost. It was a giant space bird! More like a cosmic being, which oh, is the embodiment of the Big <laughs> Bang, destined to consume all of existence at the end of time. This is the Phoenix Force. Wait, well, what? Merged, but the fire <laughs> what? didn't turn right. out so great, because all it wanted to do was blow shit up. Hey, why don't I get a Phoenix Force? That sounds <laughs> awesome. The Phoenix Force desires destruction. Its fire will one day consume all of existence. That's mm. its purpose. Unfortunately, this need for annihilation would prove too much for Jean, manipulating and corrupting her until a thoughtless moment where she obliterated an entire civilized planet. My God. Billions of lives simply erase. This was the dawn of the Dark Phoenix. Yeah, when mm. Jean figured out what happened, she was not okay. No matter how hard she tried to kill the Phoenix's influence, it would always rise back up. Good, because it's a phoenix. And so, rather than allow this absolute power to consume her, Jean heroically sacrificed herself, ending the threat. Yeah, what a beautifully tragic story about the corrupting influence of power on the human spirit. Uh, not really. Turns out that wasn't actually Jean. The phoenix was just kind of pretending to be her. She came back later. Oh, <laughs> and she merged with the phoenix again. Well, that's stupid, but hey, okay. absolute power may corrupt absolutely, but it also absolutely owns. As the phoenix gene red a vast trash. amounts of cosmic energy, <laughs> what? absorb power from others, manipulate <laughs> matter down to the subatomic level, and even scorch your soul with psionic flames. Mm. Flames that take the shape of the phoenix itself, grow to the size of a universe, and burn hotter the than a supernova. The phoenix can't basically do anything. Stop time, open portal, 
don't so see do the anything future. Like Raise the dead and create pocket realities just for fun. She can fly at massively faster than light speeds and wage mental battles across infinite distances in seconds. Mm. Now, Boyo Loco even boosted Jean's natural mutant abilities to the max. She's physically strong enough to fight the thing. And she's a stronger telepath than Moondragon was with the mind gem. You know, what the that? gauntlet bling that controls all the I'm trying to figure out what Moondragon is, too. <laughs> Should Jean fall, the Phoenix can always resurrect her. Mm. So long as her soul remains intact, it will reform her body. No I want to be stronger her or Wanda. Which is good. Mm. That's the next one they need to do. Literally Did they do that one before? I don't know. I feel like Jean will beat her. I don't Jean probably died again in 2024. <laughs> Sometime after this recording, she's died a 16th time. time. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> But hey, when Jean's not around, the Phoenix has jumped into other people. Rachel Gray, Hope Summers, Firehair, it's got a thing for redheads. Oh, do you think it was a bad idea to have Jocelyn study it? I demand a raise! Now uh -oh. she's fine. Well, even with plenty of hosts to choose from, the Phoenix would often end up back with Jean. Like a clingy, codependent ex. While mm -hmm. Jean might be stuck in a kind of love or a boros with Scott, Logan, Wolverine. Emma, basically everyone, her true best is the Spider-Man. Spider-Man down there, too. <laughs> she is its perfect vessel. Spider -Man the Gollum. Phoenix is powerful mm -hmm. enough to stalemate Galactus and defeat the being Necrom, who was going to collapse the multiverse into a singularity. With mm. Old Man Logan as its host, the Phoenix saved the entire Omniverse from destruction. Yeah, mm. basically the embodiment of the previous multiverse got mad and tried to flood reality with his evil juices. So, Old Man Phoenix held back a tsunami that would have erased all of Marvel Comics. <laughs> Even after multiple possessions, Jean was never quite free from the influence Ooh. of the Dark Phoenix. Mm -hmm. the threat no of its oh, reverse Scarlet Witch is no more Jean's mutants. Like the nicest and so I guess that means she's no be ever. So she eventually <laughs> sort of got through to the Phoenix Force. And with her combined power emotionally stabilized, Jean reached her ultimate state of being. The White Phoenix of the Crown. Sounds Holy like a dark cow. Souls, How does the ultimate film always white? white? I have Phoenix no idea. And like everything. Of Jean and the Phoenix Force. You know when that white suit comes out, bro. <laughs> right. She's somebody in white. In her hand. And giving her dominion over the white hot room, the highest plane of existence and the center of the Phoenix's power. Beyond the far shore of reality, it is a dimension the Phoenix has complete control over and even gets stronger while in it. But Phoenix could never get out of that let's kill everyone mindset. So Gene <laughs> finally confronted it and dumped his ass. Yeah, she dumped a cosmic god of destruction. You mm. go, girl. Come on. Take back well, I just want to destroy the universe. Wait, they're coming. You're Marvel girl again. <laughs> so you can't run with them anymore. Like the Phoenix, the two me. will inevitably rise again and <laughs> Come on, man. I'm just refresh and renew. I'm, I'm just trying to be a Phoenix, right? right. Stars and set our souls aflame. I'm just doing what I was created to do. <laughs> How you want me to do Why you don't try to change, change me? Why, why, why can't you use Spend all your time <laughs> on your work. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Once upon a midnight dreary, the demon lord Trigon had a plan to escape his extra dimensional prison. By manipulating a poor young Gothamite named Angela Roth, he would spawn a half demon child that would summon him to mm -hmm. Earth. See, this is one of the many reasons you don't live in Gotham. Thankfully, Angela was rescued and taken to a dimension called Azareth, filled yeah, with a bunch of Azareth. smelly space hippies. And there, she would have her doomed daughter, Raven. The Azarathians were terrified of Raven. If she ever lost control of herself, even for a moment, she could mm -hmm. release Trigon into the world and mm -hmm. kickstart the That's apocalypse. So they trained her to control her mind, forbidding her from feeling any emotions whatsoever. And thus suppress mm -hmm. Trigon's she's always so. Which yep. is smart, ah. since yeah. even without Trigon, she's strong enough to accidentally destroy the universe. I don't know, Wiz. Being told that if I get too mad or too happy, mm -hmm. I'd let loose the actual devil might just make mm -hmm. me a dad big stressed out of my goddamn mind. Mm -hmm. I call yep. it the prequel trilogy school of psychotherapy. <laughs> and much like a Jedi, Raven learned some sick magical powers. Raven is an empath and can sense mm -hmm. the emotions of others even from across the universe. She can shape those emotions so precisely, it acts as a form of mind control. Mm. She can sense your presence, absorb and redirect your pain, steal your energy for herself, communicate mm. telepathically, erase memories, or mm. just turn your brain off and put you to sleep. Her <laughs> telepathy is so strong, she could resist a mental attack from the Hive Queen, whose psionic abilities could overpower even Superman's mental defenses. God, I could use well, that a lot of things to overpower. 
Magic. Superman's defense is dying alive. Seems like she's got this emotion shit locked down. What's the problem? Her very soul. While her body is ostensibly human, her mm -hmm. soul is the locus for Trigon's corruption. Mm -hmm. And she can separate it from her own body in the form of her silhouette. It's a bird! It's a plane! Mm -hmm. No, that's... Just a bird! This soul <laughs> self is non-corporeal and can be controlled from an interstellar distance away. Love she can it. use it to fly, mm -hmm. teleport across dimensions, possess people, smash ponies like a battery ram, and even <laughs> absorb things into a pocket dimension of infinite darkness. Or the nightmares! It can also regenerate from complete disintegration. Sort of like a soul healing factor. You know, they probably should have thought twice about making the person who could accidentally end the world such a badass! Given Raven's fear of her dreaded destiny, it's fitting that her soul soul self should take the form of her namesake, a raven. Mm -hmm. Across multiple mythologies and cultures, the raven symbolizes death. prophecy, oh. death, and oh. ill omen. Okay, hey, I was about to say, Ravens death. mean bad news. <laughs> what about gooses? <laughs> you wanna fight me, motherfuckers? Oh, oh. nibble you. Hey, well, I'll nibble your eyes out. I'll nibble you. See ya, Oh, right. They symbolize assholes. Upon turning 18, <laughs> Raven feared Trigon's growing presence and went to Earth to form a super team capable of combating him. Mm -hmm. Screw you, Satan! It's the Teen Titans! These kids may seem like the Justice League Junior Edition, but with Raven as their white and black mage yes. combo, they were out kicking butt and saving the That's world. That's Teen Titans. I love that one. Yeah, one, yeah. <laughs> Not Teen Titans, go. Raven's physical body was fine. Fine. Insane, but... matched on a Troy. An Amazonian strong enough to withstand a blast from the Universe Buster Monarch. Well, that's just bad game design. Raven's vast arsenal of magic includes lightning, force mm -hmm. fields, illusions, telekinesis, shape shifting, matter manipulation, stopping and traveling through time, and most dangerously, her control over souls. She can mm. rip your soul out of your body. I don't know who's gonna win this one. Now that I'm looking at too. it, controlling a universe full of souls all at once is no big deal. And should someone attempt to possess her, she can tether their soul to hers. Absorbing them. Like in a possible future timeline where she did just that to the four horsemen of the apocalypse. She got mm. strong enough to destroy all of creation. She was called the unkindness, which is actually the term for a group of ravens. Neat. All of these powers made her wow. an incredible asset for the Titans. No longer alone in Azeroth, awaiting inevitable doom, Raven found a new home with new friends. Mm. And a potential mm. green skinned love interest that mm -hmm. DC is too cowardly to commit to. Come right. On, guys. Come on. Oh, Let's give us what we want. Alongside Raven, mm -hmm. the Titans have defeated the Church of Blood, the alien conqueror Mongol, and the Brotherhood of Evil. However, the mm -hmm. more Raven used her powers, the more Trigon's influence grew, mm -hmm. unleashing a frightening transformation. Dark Raven. Yeah, you can throw empathy out the window. As yep. Dark Raven, she's a force of pure destruction, a perfect vanguard for her pop's hellish army. Like in the New 52 era, where she led Trigon's forces, conquering worlds for, quote, and an eternity. Cool there. Even she destroying her body there. won't do much. She'll just keep fighting as a messed up demon ghost. But the Titans were not fair-weather friends. Mm -hmm. With their love and support, Raven overcame her dark side and purified her soul to battle her all-powerful father. Mm -hmm. We've been talking around him for a while, but Trigon is one of the biggest, baddest mother effers in DC Comics. Yes. Literally evil personified. He's wiped out the Justice League with no effort, including mm -hmm. our old pal, pre-crisis Superman. The same Superman who flew I, so I mean, fast so, broke the bonds of the I, I don't know. There's a lot Trigon's of panels. Trigon's destroyed the entire universe. Matched the fifth dimensional imp, Mr. Mixie. Spillick, and he even killed mess. Dr. Fate <laughs> in an alternate dimension. The same Dr. Fate who flew across reality at the velocity of God. Yeah, he's pretty How can you strong, measure that? But so you can. You see, <laughs> Raven was raised as a pacifist, afraid that if she let loose, her father's powers would kill everyone she loved. But mm -hmm. in truth, Raven's power never belonged to her father in the first place. It was hers. And Trigon had mm -hmm. no idea how strong his daughter really was. With the rings of Azar, Raven bonded with Azeroth to overpower power Trigon and destroy his soul. Even though her body got nuked in the process, she mm. just kept superheroing without it. That's right, as a ghost! But what? Even without her father's <laughs> direct influence, Raven's incredible power continued to prove impressive. Like the time she fought the Spectre, an unbound angel of wrath whose conflicts often threaten all of reality. Long have the legends of old proclaimed the awesome might of the Goth GF, but I never <laughs> knew they were true until this day, Wizard. Okay. Portents of doom. Everybody wants a Goth for this Yes, yes. 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 With her yes. teammates at her side, there's yes. no future this Titan <laughs> can't <laughs> overcome. Go, go, go. Okay. Don't worry, bud. <laughs> 
Listen, what? Start wearing black. Yeah, we're all black. My whole closet is black. And it's raw possibility. All right, I have no idea who's gonna win. I don't I'm, know. I'm just enjoying this one. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Still secretly on Raven's side. I know you. I, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I'll be on. I'll be on. Miss Grace, huh? <laughs> Come to burn my home to ashes. The demon inside you is too strong to be left alive. I'm sorry. This is for the good of the universe. That's a nice try. Mm -hmm. You hear the little, you hear the? Yes. You battle little birds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This was a nail biter. Right. Yeah. That's not surprising, since Raven's reputation hardly matches that of the Almighty Phoenix. Probably because Raven's always holding back. Mm -hmm. When she does it, you don't have to dig too deep to see that these two are evenly matched in power. Yeah. The Phoenix Force was strong enough to hold back the destruction of all creation. But Raven had multiple showings of battling similarly powerful characters like Trigon and the Spectre, soul cell. and both mm. could compete with speeds exceeding infinity. Sure, Jean got a power boost in the White Hot Room, but mm -hmm. that didn't make her invincible. The Phoenix has been overpowered there before, like by this big green cat. So throw stats out what? the window. This fight came down to their abilities. Both were immeasurably powerful telepaths. Both could control matter and time and both could absorb each other's energy. Mm -hmm. However, mm -hmm. Raven's ability to survive and fight as just her soul meant that most of Jean's offensive arsenal could not end the fight. Mm -hmm. The Phoenix Force could have attempted to possess Raven's soul, but Raven has tethered her essence to other similarly powerful beings and absorbed them in the past. And yep. while the Phoenix's fire has shown to burn souls, Raven's has regenerated from complete disintegration. Mm -hmm. Wow, On okay. the flip side, Jean actually had very little defense against Raven's soul manipulation. The Phoenix could regenerate Jean's body, but not her spirit. Not her soul. When Rachel Gray's soul was shattered, the Phoenix was actually incapable of healing it on its own. 
And while the Phoenix Force itself will be reborn in the White Hot Room, this can take months, years, mm. even centuries. So wow. it could be one hell of a war of attrition, but ultimately only Raven had the ability to Let's finish go. this battle. Jean Grey was one of the strongest beings we've ever seen. But Raven's own awesome might, brilliant magic, and unique soul-destroying powers mm -hmm. snuffed and out time her fire for good. Well, the can do that. rise again, returning from that far, far shore, quote the Raven, nevermore. Mm -hmm. The winner is Raven. That's I'm not even mad at it, bro. Raven's I'm not mad at all. I'm a fictional baddie. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. We're releasing every two your, uh, weeks this year. Girl I ain't gonna lie. When I was a teenager, bro, big crush, bro. Network yeah, is bro. Yeah, they had the baddest goths, girl. Oh. Next time. Oh. Guts. Mewtwo. Ah, oh, Fire Emblem. I never, I never watched it. Fire Emblem. I never played. I never watched or, Berserk or either. Played it. I heard Berserk is crazy. Berserk. I feel like I watched one episode and then I meant to watch more and I didn't. And I was watching other anime. There was something like um with Berserk, right? And it was it like it was like a three. It was like a, wasn't it like yeah, a, like and it, that like boy, that show was bad. I, I, I don't know. Because after y'all telling us like y'all gotta watch yeah. Berserk, it's one of the greatest anime. We gotta manga. watch the two D one because we watched the three D one and we didn't we like was it. like though this three so, Ds. Yeah, we didn't like that one. And they so. said, y'all gotta go back and, nah, 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 watch that one, watch the old one. And he was like, bruh, all right, bruh. Y'all getting this with like One Piece again. Nah, 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 y'all gotta watch 300 episodes first. Yeah, you gotta get to 755 and then- And then, then, then that's when it get lit. Like, like, like oh. <laughs> 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 One Piece catching straight. Anyway, guys, uh, comment below, let's see. Don't forget to like, subscribe. It's just work. This is.